What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Pushing Our Potential YouTube channel, your go-to YouTube channel for basketball breakdowns and instructions. I am your host, Pop, and today we got good old King James breaking records and making history once again. Okay, first of all, he's the youngest player to 300... First of all, he became the youngest player to ever score 36,000 points in NBA history. Also, he started as center for the first time this season with the Los Angeles Lakers, and he recorded a triple-double. He's doing it all, right? Now, I know what you're probably thinking. The Lakers fucking suck this year. They're like ninth seed in the West. I get that, okay? He's still one of the greatest players to ever touch a basketball, though. So that being said, 32-point triple-double. We got to go in and look at the film and see where he got his points from. But... Before we go any further, I gotta tell you guys to like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel so we can continue to grow, and let's get right into this film. Catch and shoot. Easy shot right here. Westbrook drives, draws in this guy down here. As Soon as he comes down, LeBron's wide open for this shot right here. Easy catch and shoot shot. Stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Mid-range. ISO. This is too much space. You got to step up. You got to take away that space. LeBron isn't known as a great mid-range shooter. He's not the best at it, but this is still an easy shot. Easy read, easy shot. If they're going to give you all of this space right here, rise up over the top and make them pay for it. screen gets a screen right here defender keeps backing up screens coming but he continues to back up he didn't even really set the screen he kind of went through it but he still continued to back up giving lebron all of this space right here to shoot this easy shot walk into it you know he literally just came down walked into it at his pace his rhythm you can't allow anybody in the nba to get shots like that because you're letting them set up. You're giving them exactly what they want. That's a practice jumper. This is tough. This is tough. He makes it look easy because he's so strong. Guys literally bounce off of him. Look, he, he goes right into this guy's chest. And he has no choice but to ride the LeBron train. That freight train coming right at you. Right into his sternum. Boom. Backs up. He decides to go under right here. Remember what I told you guys. Whenever you turn your back on defense against an offensive player attacking the rim it's a foul they're gonna call a foul every time and this is evident right here even if he doesn't touch him or really fouls him he turns his back to him which can be seen as a dangerous act because what if he stops right here while lebron's in the air and he clips him you know what i mean so you can't turn your back on defense like that you got to stay squared up to the basketball player turns his back finishes in traffic and one Getting a little jiggy now. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. What I love about this is he does all of this dribbling up here. It really doesn't mean much. He knows that at this stage in his career, he's not the quickest player anymore. So he's probably not going to take this guy off the dribble. But this guy's a fucking youngster. So he's definitely not strong enough to guard LeBron at 38 in the paint. Bumps him off. I think he's 38. Don't quote me on that. Bumps him off. Look at this. This tells you all you need to know right here. Boom. Backs his little ass up out the way. Okay. I know I can get to anywhere I want. One more dribble. Get right down here into the paint. Boom. Shows him the ball right here with this little jab step right here. He backs up. And by the time he raises up for this shot, he's got all the space he needs. And he's below the free throw line. This is a warm-up jumper right here. Fade away, knock it down. That's what I want to see more in, Le in his later years of LeBron's career. Because he's strong enough to get to that block against anybody in the league. Hey, man, hand down, man down. Coming off here, he made a bad gamble. I don't know why he doesn't step up. But once he pump fakes, there's literally nothing he could do. He gave up his dribble. Oh, he wasn't dribbling in the first place. Oh, yes, he was. Yeah, he gave up his dribble. Now, as, as, as this defender, you have to step up. He pumped fake. He gave up his dribble. What else is he going to fucking do? What do you, you, you waiting for him to literally tell you he's going to shoot it? And you got to step up. That's horrible defense. Horrible defense. This game, there's no way this game should have been this close. 
Once again, right here. He's he's just trying to get to his spots now. Dribble. Backs him down. Tries to bend the corner right here, but he stays in front of him. This is great D. He knows he can't bend the corner. He's still there. Okay. Let me get back comfortable. One more dribble to get to a spot. And then he eventually turns and fades away. That's tough. He, he has his set point higher than he usually does because he doesn't want this guy to block it. But still, from down here in the paint, it's not a hard shot because you're so close to the rim. What makes it tough is this turning, spinning angle right here. It requires great core strength. Gets it up and over the top of the defender. Way to put it in. Down screen, down screen, mid-range jumper. Like I said, the mid range is where I where I would love to see LeBron excel in these late in these latter years in his career. Easy mid range jumper right here because it is down screen. He sets the first pick as a decoy, first pick. Now Aaron Gor Eric Gordon has to kind of get through that, and by the time he does, another back pick. Now he just got to knock down this mid range jumper. Easy shot. Right down here in the post. Look at that seal. Look at this seal. Screen here. He gets this guy on him. He starts here. Like I said, he's stronger than everybody on the Rockets team. Literally. He gets really low and gets that position. Backs him up. Backs him up. By the time he gets his ball, he's literally under the rim. That comes from the squats, man. Get low, get into that squat position. Lower center of gravity. His hips are lower than his defender's hips, which makes it easier to literally just clear out space. He's just backing them up. Catches the ball right under the basket. Puts it in. Easy buckets. That's what I would love to see from LeBron, man. I can't, I can't express that enough. I don't want to see him, you know, trying to still set up pick and rolls. Oh, my God. And then if he could still do that? What? Screen here, fades, hops, cut. There's a nice wide receiver DB matchup here. One on one, boom, cuts right back door, right past him, gets the ball, dunk on his ass. This is the oh, this is the style of the play I would love to see from LeBron. And this is why they got Westbrook because they wanted him to be the point guard that LeBron doesn't have to be anymore. Another back cut. Come on. You can't keep <laughs> can't keep watching the ball, man. Screen here. He gets caught watching the ball. One on one. Back cut. Just go right past him. Good pass, Westbrook. Now he's down here in the paint with nothing but space and opportunity. Nobody wants to jump in front of that freight train. Finish at the rim. Looking at this shot chart, we see a lot of the damage done right down here in the paint. Couple threes, nothing crazy, but a lot of it was right down here in the paint with those mid-range fadeaways and those back cuts. Now, like I said at least 10 times through the video, this is where I want to see LeBron take off in this later stage of his career. He could literally rewrite his career with, the, with these last couple years because he's going to get easy points down here against anybody. And... They got Westbrook to be the point guard that LeBron doesn't need to be, hopefully. It hasn't been working out so far. I feel like it'll work out come later in the season around March, April, and May. They have to get that shit together because if not, they're not going to be in the playoffs. If they're in the playoffs, they have a chance to win a championship. It's still LeBron. Backdoor cuts, low post seals. That's what the LeBron has to get to. And they need a point guard that can get him the ball in the paint where he doesn't have to do dribbling to get the paint. If he can get the ball in the paint in triple threat position, he's way more dangerous than he is out here with a live dribble. And then if he can set screens and cut back door, he's way more dangerous. The best seasons from LeBron's career have come when he has had another ball handler that he can run pick and roll with and who's gonna pass him the ball when he cuts. It's really optimistic to see LeBron settling in to this new style of play because he usually is a pick and roll ball handler. But if he can be a screen and roller now in this later part of his career, 
he's gonna break kareem's record man he's gonna get that extra 2400 points that he needs to break the record okay until next time don't forget to like the video comment subscribe to the channel add me on instagram dt973 and we out